Welcome. This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay, and I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. And today's topic is actually going to be the retina. And that's why I got really close to the camera so you can see my eyeball. And on the back side of the eyeball is the retina, and we are going to discuss that. And within that, if you like this video, please do so. Give us a like. If you don't like this video, you can also let us know. Questions or comments, no matter when this video was filmed, we want to hear from you. Questions about your retina, we love to hear them and we'll definitely circle back and help you in any way that we can. The, um, we also love to hear who is listening to the videos and watching them. Please list your city, state, and country. And we love to see how, you know, who we're reaching and and what's going on for them in different parts of the world. So feel free to do that also. So again, like I said, tonight's topic is going to be the retina, and, and you do have the eyeball there. And so your eyeball is, as you know, it's round, and on the back of your eye is a lining that's called the retina. And a lot of people, as they get older, they find that they have something that's referred to as retin, retinal tears and or just basic damage with the retina and particularly retinal tears and there are a lot of things that can be done surgically to uh, repair this and I I do support that I think that you know modern medicine where it's gone with the acute care is pretty amazing so if you have a severe retinal tear you definitely want to utilize any sort of laser that's available because that's actually going to save your eyesight so a retinal tear that's progressed and continues to go on will cause you to lose your eyesight and none of us of course want that. The goal would be to try to preserve our eyesight for as long as possible. The, the things though, I guess the topic really is what we can do to prevent them long term. And But before I go into that, I want to just discuss a little bit more about the retina. The retina is one of the most fatty tissues in your body. So it uses a lot of fats and it really loves antioxidants and uh, the fat profile that's in there, it really is, has an affinity for the fat that's in fish oil known as DHA and that fat is very important. It's a huge building block to the retinal tissue. So if you are, one of the greatest things you can do to prevent retinal tears is to eat a lot of antioxidants and to take fish oils, which are definitely part of the essential nutrients you need. And what's great about doing both of those things is you'll definitely be able to prolong the life of your, of your eyesight, etc., and hopefully to prevent some of these things from happening. The retina, like I said, it, it, it heavily utilizes the DHA constituent of fish oils. So a lot of times with patients, I'll advocate and encourage them to use cod liver oil which is uh, it's very high in DHA and when you're utilizing it it's, it's getting directly into the system. I have friends that will actually put uh, open the uh, fish capsule and put it in their mouth and, and then it's absorbing immediately from the eye or from the mouth into the eye. So And brain health too. The brain is a huge utilizer of DHA. So these are things you could do with your fish oils on the fly and you would definitely be able to get the nutrients right where they're needed. And of course, eating a, a diet that's rich in very powerful antioxidants and the antioxidants that, you know, when you look at vegetables, you want to think of the more denser, brighter color. So we look at things like yellow, re, um, yellow peppers, red peppers, uh, pumpkins, squashes, yellow squashes. Think of it as pigments. Your, your retina is composed of pigments. And the more food that you eat with the more pigment, the, the better and the broader your coverage will be. And as we all know, nutrienting too. So it is, it is hard to get these nutrients in our regular diet. And so for eye health, you are really going to have to nutriate. We all need to be doing it. Um, there's another herb that I really love. It's called bilberry. And that really improves night vision. The first time I ever heard about it, I was in the military. And they would talk about it being used. World War II pilots utilized it to keep their night vision sharp. So these are things, again, the bilberry the fish oils, high levels of DHA in your fish oils and all of your antioxidants and eating very colorful fruits and vegetables is going to help you um, cover some of those bases and then you're also definitely going to want to supplement. 
but again, the chemistry of the eye, you know, the retina, you don't want to let it get torn, but if it happens, definitely seeking surgical intervention does make sense. And if you have any questions or comments or things you've learned about the retina in your own journey with your retinal um, health, we'd love to hear from you. And it's always a pleasure to be here with you. And I wish you all the best and God bless. Bye-bye.